Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is a video to show you how to update the firmware for Iris DVC. Um, for Dynaflip's DAC or Gaia Hermes DVC, it comes with a few buttons on the front panel that allow you to enable the DAC or the DVC into firmware update mode. But for the Iris DVC, um, we have limited button on the front panel. It only comes with a setup button to allow you to change the external clock input on and off. But how do we go into firmware update mode by using this guy? You have to open the top cover, power up this guy, connect the USB cable, and press a small little button here, uh, located right over here. I'll flip it. Up. I'll flip it to the other side to allow you to see it. So, in order to update the Iris DDC firmware, please be extra careful because as you open the top cover, this portion here is power up. It contains AC. AC means 110 or 230. If you need, please please wear a glove and an insulation glove to protect you from electrical hazard. Uh, I do this from time to time because I'm an electrical pen trained person. I'm an electronic engineer, so I've been doing this for over 20 over years. So it's it's for demonstration purpose. It is fine to do this without a glove, but uh, if you are an untrained person, please wear an insulation glove. To protect you from electrical hazard. Uh, it is what it is. For Iris DDC, there's no way to, to enable this DDC into firmware update mode. We have to access this little button here. Uh, let me unplug the power cord. We have to access the little button here. Uh, the power cord is dropping. We have to access this little button here to enable this Iris DDC into firmware update mode. Okay, right. So open the top cover. Connect the power cord and the unit will power up. And as you can see, the unit is powered up. And you need to connect this USB cable to the computer. And the computer tool should detect this as a USB DAC or USB audio device. So, how do we see this in the computer? So, I have a MacBook here. It is also possible to update the firmware using a MacBook now. So, in system report USB, it should detect. Uh, USB high-res audio device uh, under system report USB and you will see this device so by pressing this small little button here it will allow the DDC Iris DDC goes into firmware update mode and because this um, system report is already open we need to refresh this guy to to show that the USB high-res F20 configuration device is detected so now this device is in configuration mode. You can then proceed with the firmware update. Okay, a few a few of you asked, uh, can I show you how, how to update the firmware using a MacBook? So this video serves two purposes. One is to show you how to update the Iris DDC uh, by accessing this firmware update button. And the other is to show you how to do this using a MacBook. Right, so download the firmware update um, uh, folder or the firmware update tool from the website and open the terminal and this is the terminal terminal is a command prompt in, in, in Windows or in Linux so it allows you to have some command uh, uh, have some command or some scripting so this is the USB MCU firmware tool downloaded from the website and there's this USB MC, update USB MCU.sh command that you can drag and drop to this um, terminal here so once you, once you drag and drop this guy to this terminal over here and hit the enter button and the firmware update will start it takes about less than 5 seconds for the USB firmware to update to this Iris DDC so it says the firmware update is successfully done and all you need to do now is to unplug the power cord wait for a couple of seconds plug it back and the unit should turn on and go to this system report and um, USB tab here, you should see uh, an updated Dynaflip's USB audio version 3.12 uh, USB device, USB audio device detected by the MacBook. So you have successfully updated the Iris DDC USB MCU and the firmware is now the latest. You can also see this guy in uh, system preference under sound device, system preference under sound device, you should detect a uh, Sound output device, Dynaflip's USB audio version 3.12. Uh, 
Right, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.